Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Let's take you to the coast now. British terror suspect Jermaine Grant, linked with the plot to execute bomb attacks in Kenya, has now been convicted to nine years imprisonment. KTN's Francis Ontomwa reports. Even on his judgment day, he will still appear unfazed. His demeanor calm and composed. Jermaine Grant stood in the dock in one of Kenya's most high-profile terror cases at the Mombasa High Court. Grant has been fighting off several charges since 2011 for terror-related accusations. Will, however, find this one a bit too much. I have noted the aggregate, aggregate sentence of the nine counts and borne in mind the offenses committed by the accused. I order that the accused should serve one year imprisonment on each of the nine counts and this sentence will run consecutively. Grant was facing nine charges of forgery, including attempts to prepare a birth certificate, a school living certificate, and trying to acquire a Kenyan identity card, despite being a Briton. High Court Judge Martin Muya passed the verdict after he found that Grant was the main accomplice in the forgery of the documents. He's not a first offender, as he has previous convictions of being unlawfully present in Kenya and giving false information to a person employed in the public service. Previously, he served a three years jail term at Chimulatewa for being in the country illegally. Judge Martin Muya will then overturn a ruling by the lower courts that had initially acquitted grant of all the nine forgery counts he was charged with in 2011. His lawyer, Chacha Muita, is however not satisfied yet and is planning a counter scheme to take advantage of the two-week window provided for appeal. So. Legally, we don't, Grant still believes that he's innocent, but legally, if uh, offenses form the same transaction, then uh, the sentence is supposed to run concurrent. So that's part of what uh, Grant will be contending at the Court of Appeal. Grant was arrested in Kisauni on December 19, 2011, for being in possession of bomb-making materials and devices. Investigators had retrieved files gathered from several websites, including instructions on making chemical bombs and literature related to terrorism from a memory device belonging to Grant. Detectives in the case further say he initially lied to the police that he was a Canadian called Peter Joseph. Which means that he will serve a total of nine years imprisonment. And he has a right of appeal. Grant is alleged to have close links with terror group Al-Qaeda and Samantha Lethwaite alias White Widow, believed to be the mastermind of the Westgate Mole terror attack. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Mombasa.